Oh shit, it's here. More Halo content as you guys requested. What's the crack, lads and ladies around the feckin' world? My name is DV Geek, and due to the huge success of yesterday's video, if you haven't seen it, I'll leave it in the description below and click the link up here if you haven't seen it, because I completed the Halo Reach campaign for the very first time. And this is coming from someone that has played PlayStation all his life and has never touched an Xbox game until Halo Reach. Complete the campaign and it was truly glorious. Emotional, but glorious. Really loved it and I just want to say hashtag remember reach but today like i said due to the massive massive success of that video i am going to be posting right here right now my reaction to the fall of reach yes lads and ladies we are going to be checking out the fall of reach as you guys said this is a perfect place to fit it in chronological order after completing halo reach and honestly I'm excited. The Halo content that we've been putting out here is something that I wanted to do and stick to and keep to this train. I want to plow out this stuff as much as I can for all of you since you're really enjoying the content and that's why you're here. And I appreciate the support that you guys have been giving on the videos recently. I mean, the channel is blowing up. We're over 150k and we're still exceeding numbers. It's absolutely insane and I appreciate that. It means the world to me. It really, really does. So, we're going to be checking out The Fall of Reach. I don't know what this is about, but I think the title kind of pretty much gives that away. And it's going to give us some more context to the story before we dive into. And yes, get this. I'm going to be playing and streaming tomorrow at 2pm GMT UK time. Halo. Combat evolves. So I left the link to my Twitch now below. Make sure you follow and turn on them notifications because that stream is gonna be crazy. Honestly, I'm so excited to get back into Halo and play some more of the classic Halo stuff, especially the first ever one that came out way, way back. And yes, before you say it, we're gonna be playing that game in classic graphics. So Strap yourselves in. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really fucking good. And I can't wait. I'm gonna be so hyped playing it. You have no idea. But that aside, it is time to check out The Fall of Reach. You can actually watch this entire movie on YouTube. Link in the description below. And if you're wondering, this video will not be monetized simply because I do not own this content. And I just want you guys to enjoy it with me and just have fun with me in the process. So if you're hyped, smash that like and of course subscribe if you haven't already and join the spartan army that we've created here on the channel that being said lads and lassies it is time to watch the fall of reach all right lads and ladies as you can see i officially purchased the fall of reach here on youtube you got to support that official release i can't wait this should be in full crispy hd and i hope you guys are excited Let's get into it. Here we go. The fall of Reach, lads. Alright, so here it is. I'm hyped. Who's this? That never sounded like an owl, Fred. Kelly. We've got two hours to get back to base before Oni starts spilling overtime. Where's the chief? Where's Linda? The chief? Here's the chief. Quick shore leave, chief. We're lucky command let us come at all. There he is. Most of it's gone. But yeah, it's the place. Then let's do this. 343 Industries, lads. Here we go. I'm hyped. Halo. The Fall of Reach. Private journal entry. I'm ready. Crypt Halsey 424-3. Delete if tampered. A long time ago, I committed myself to a path, a direction. There were many branches in that path, but ultimately they all flowered, I think. 
John was the first seed. I couldn't the personally screen seed. every candidate. The outer colonies were simply too scattered, too distant. But I had to set an example for the other extraction teams. So the first candidate... The first candidate I dealt with personally. But the outer colonies were still very dangerous places in those days, albeit for radically different reasons. And so the Office of Naval Intelligence assigned me a chaperone. Perhaps for my safety. Perhaps for theirs. Time to wake up, Lieutenant Gaze. We are preparing to exit slip space near the Eridanus system. Dr. Halsey? Already awake and on the bridge, sir. Uh, of course she is. Early bird. Dr. Halsey. Are these shuttles all so damned claustrophobic? There is barely room for one person in here, let alone two. Doctor. Torin. Awaiting your orders, Dr. Halsey. Start a pre-burn warm-up cycle for the fusion engines. Understood, Doctor. Exiting slip space in six seconds. Good. And some music. Rachmaninoff's concerto number three, I think. Okay. Now, Lieutenant. You needed my attention? I was going to say I should act as pilot. If I wished to be chauffeured, you would already be in this chair, Lieutenant. If you wish to make yourself useful, take the comms. And make sure our arrival is discreet. What are we doing here? This area is dangerous. It's been an insurrectionist stronghold for years. Meaning? Meaning the insurrection isn't some ragtag group of colonial rowdies. Torin, list rebel acts of violence in this sector last five days. 72 hours ago. Insurrectionists destroy emergency food caravan. 18 hours ago. Rebellion raids merchant vessel, murders entire... I am painfully aware of the rebellion, Lieutenant. Something needs to be done. Oni agrees with me. That is why we are here. Oni? But if the Office of Naval Intelligence... This is a recon mission? How terribly perceptive of you. But what could you possibly need to recon out here? Oh, you'll see. Elysium City, Eridanus. I'm dressed like a fool. You're dressed like a father trying to get his daughter into a decent school. I don't have a daughter. And I don't have a pony. Pay attention. We are here to observe a boy. The first of many evaluations in the weeks to come. Is she supposed I'm to be the daughter? Be protecting shipping lanes, <laughs> not babysitting. This child could be more useful to the UNSC than a fleet of destroyers, a thousand lieutenants, or even me. In the end, one child could be the difference between peace and an unwinnable war. Ah, there's our young man. Journal entry. <laughs> Same encryption scheme. Who's next? John was the first. And he was the best. Holy shit! The chief! Come on, Baby chief! You can't stop us all! Even as a child, I could see how special he was. Sense his unformed potential. Wait, what the <laughs> hell? To carve away everything else to get to it. To shape it. Um, this or kid's gonna get expelled! I knew Fuck! Eventually become. Him. He can't be more than six. John, like all of our candidates, is six years old. Unlike the others, he has all the genetic markers. There's six years else. old and throwing hands like there's no tomorrow. Of interest to whom, precisely? Here, record our interaction. I'll talk to him, find out if his character is as exceptional as his DNA. Hello. What's your name? It's John. And what game were you playing, John? War. King of the Hill. Mom says I'm too rough with the other kids. 
You like yeah. games? She might be Enjoy. right. I have another game, if you're interested. This is a coin. Win the game, and you keep the coin. You see the two sides? Yes. A man and a bird. Which side will land up? Not gonna lie, the voice acting could bird. use improvement. Good. Again. Man. Again. Man. Bird. Wait, what the hell? Bird. Five out of five, John. That's... unusual. You said I could keep it if I won. Yes. You can keep it, John. Yes. I cursed myself for using his name. I couldn't afford the luxury of fondness. No telling if Subject 117 would even survive what lay ahead. Tell me you recorded that. Uh, sure. <laughs> Reach military complex. It all fell into place so quickly after John. It wasn't long before I had my final candidates. These are the 75, Deja. Confidential 75. journal entry. Read encryption using my private key. As I said before, I don't regret any of this. I thought it all the way through. Jesus! I am certain it will be Twins? worthwhile. Right at that moment, across several star systems, children were being acquired nope. and shipped. Nope, just your replacement. To the planet Reach. That's so cruel. We were replacing the children with flash clones. Imperfect simulacra, but nigh impossible to detect. If I could have used the clones, of course I would have. But the damn things broke down faster than we could grow them. We needed real children. Whole children. It was a regrettable, but necessary, deception. That's so freaking subjects. cruel. Orion 2 would not have succeeded built on a foundation of compromise. Oni would have its soldiers. And I would have my solution. May God have mercy on us all. Doctor, they are here. They are ready. Send them in. And Deja, on second thought. Don't save this file. Look at these young soldiers. I don't know. Incredibly... Intellect, intelligent, skilled, young soldiers. Per naval code 45812, you are hereby conscripted into UNSC special project code named Orion 2, also known as Spartan 2. Spartan your parents 2 program. are gone. The planet Reach is your new home. Your fellow trainees are your new family. Each of you has been hand selected and called to serve. Your bodies are already faster and stronger than other children. And we are going to make them even better. Chief Petty Officer Mendez, escort the children to the mess hall. Feed them. Get them to bed. Trainees, follow! This is your life now. Oh. Johnny, you need to wake up. Mom? Wake up! Wake up, trainee! Jesus! I said up! You know which way up is? Last one up gets it, Jorge! My name's pronounced George. Don't you backtalk me, Jorge! Oh. What's happening? I don't know! Just go! Go! Come on! Everyone's headed this way. I'm Sam, by the way. I'm Kelly. It'll be okay, Kelly. Sam and Kelly, Naval Officers Academy. Oh. Trainees, I am Chief Mendez. I am your commanding officer. Every day, dawn till dusk, you will do exactly what I say. When I say, 
How, I say? Am I clear, trainees? Sir, yes, yes sir. sir! Naturally, they didn't all make it. We expected dropouts. There were accidents, incidents, bad oh. luck. Better that we separated the chaff from the wheat immediately. I hate the way she talks about them like that. Come in. Class is about to begin. We trained their minds as well as their bodies. War strategy. Theoretical tactics. Sun Tzu. Nothing in the sprawling history of conflict was overlooked. We taught them about Thermopylae. About the unbeatable Spartans. Xerxes wanted to steal Greece from the Spartans. His forces numbered great story. thousands. Absolutely great story. Them? Xerxes wanted to send a message, John. He failed, and just 300 Spartans saved Greece. Fucking love that movie, that man. All for today. But tomorrow, I will tell you about wolves. Today's mission is ring the bell. When every member of your team has rung the bell, cross this line. Question training. What do we win, sir? You win dinner, 117. Last team to finish goes without dinner. Oh no! Shit. Make ready. Go. I knew John was a natural leader, even if he didn't. John, little help. Natural leader. Okay. He's gonna take this. He's gonna bring home the W for the team. First, a leader must inspire passion, and one one seven certainly did that. Hey, thanks for nothing. Ugh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Good work, trainees. Everybody eats, except one one seven and his team. But I was first. You were first, but your team came in last. And you don't win unless your team wins. Yeah, John. Oh! Well, you're not well liked right now, John. Not at all. Bit of a glory haul, isn't he? Out of here. Kelly. No. Kelly's right, Sam. He could have helped us today. Instead, he left us in the dirt. I'm sorry, guys. I stole them a few nights ago. They're stale, but better than nothing. A truce? It's Some not crackers? Truce. I know. It won't happen again. Promise. And that was it. Logic, consequences, spark of leadership. All things I saw in him from the start. Two years later. Wilderness training preserve. We are each being handed a portion of a map of the area below. The mission is simple. You will be individually deployed and use your piece of the puzzle to navigate to the extraction point. Last trainee to make it to extraction will be left behind. And it is a very long walk back. 117, you're first. Yes, sir. Sam, the river. I got it. Pass the word. Quietly. 117, front and center. Good luck, 117. Superhero landing, John. Impressive. Very impressive. Never thought of putting on some subtitles. 
I'll put these on now for you guys. You I know it's a little late. Like an owl, Sam. Ah, I've been practicing. It sounded exactly like an owl. I was just drawing you out of cover. Look what I found. Blueberries? Nice! I hope these are blueberries. Better than the food yeah. in the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Your lips are blue. <laughs> so are yours. In the end, the wilderness mission wasn't a test of strength or survival, but a friendship, camaraderie. Loyalty. Aw. What are you doing? I'm putting our mark on this place, so we can remember it. Now and forever. We should meet up with the others. Then what? Someone is still going to get left behind. Then I find a way to get everyone home. One of those math fragments was bogus, but I'm sure this is the extraction point. Almost a day's hike from here. Then we better get moving. Hold. You guys with me, fall out. And keep quiet. I heard something. And what I find fascinating is that even though you think you've prepared for every eventuality... They're armed, but they aren't in uniform. And they don't look like soldiers. Insurrectionists, maybe? Every contingency. So what now? Every permutation. Wolves. When Deja taught us about the wolves, how they hunt. What does that... The wolves? Children still manage to surprise you. Wolves children are fierce hunters, but while any wolf can hunt and kill a rabbit, one wolf against larger prey can face a grizzly end. What the? I need help! My friend is hurt! Go bring that girl back. Yes, sir. But when wolves hunt in a pack, Where's the girl? I think I broke my leg. Oh, I got your broken leg right here, kid. They take down larger prey with ease. Yeah. Oh, oh. <gasps> nice. Wow. What the hell, man? One little girl too much for you to handle? Oh, oh. <laughs> My dude getting stoned! Holy shit! We're becoming a team. Uh, doctor. Trainee 117 was just explaining why he attacked and injured UNSC soldiers. And why he stole the property they were left to guard. Ma'am, the craft was UNSC, but. The men in the force were hostile and were not in regulation uniform. You flew home? Not exactly. I rigged the autopilot to return to base, ma'am. And you brought them all home? According to orders, last train into the ship was supposed to walk. Instead, we stuck together. Like the Spartans at Thermopylae. In the real ending of the story, 117, the Spartans are betrayed and slaughtered. It is their sacrifice that actually saves and unites Greece. But we had more choices. The men you hit with rocks didn't. No, sir. They did not. So, Doctor, what do we <laughs> do with this one? <laughs> well, Mendez, I suggest a promotion. A promotion. Squad leader. <laughs> oh, shit! Thank you, sir. My dude. What is the highest rank I can attain? He didn't just finish the mission. Officer, the highest rank you can attain is Master Chief Petty Officer. Oh <laughs> My boy that. took home the platinum trophy. But your next mission won't be so easy. And there will be casualties. What is that mission, sir? Your mission, John? Not die. Is to survive. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. Six years. He's a teenager now. Samuel 034, Blue Team Mission Report. I don't remember the operation, but when we awoke, we were something new. Unbreakable materials grafted to our bones, gene therapy. Muscle density increased, enhanced skeletal and muscular growth. Of course, we had no clue what we had to live through first. We play the message, Deja. Message from Admiral Saronis Jeromi, Chief Medical Officer, Research Station Hopeful. Catherine, I wish I had better news. Further analysis has yielded zero alternatives to mitigate the risks in your proposed hypothetical experimentation. But I understand the theoretical framework, Catherine, and admire the imagination. But I hope it is, in fact, a hypothetical study. Oh no. Details are in the attached files, but your proposed treatments could result in any of the following. Cell necrosis, stroke, cardiovascular failure, and even Fletcher's syndrome. Oh no. You propose the use of lab animals, simian proxies in your tests. I must be blunt. I cannot imagine any more than half of the subjects surviving this process. Oh god! Of course there's gonna be risks in this procedure. Oh no. I would She's hate to gone. See the poor creatures destroyed in some section three project, Dr. Halsey. Well, I've said my piece. Best of luck to you, Catherine. Doctor, augmentation was always a vital, but statistically dangerous stage. How many? Oni was promised soldiers, and you are the only mind that could accomplish it. How many dead, Deja? 27 deceased. Oh my god. percent of the candidates. Children. 36% of the children. The I mean, subjects are just one you're calling them children, but Both they were Robert essentially your lab rats. A critical. You're correct. Doctor? This is our only option. Every day, the insurrection invents new acts of terror to pull humanity farther into the muck. Our civilization is balanced on a razor's edge, and the insurgents threaten to bring it down around our ears. If even one candidate survives and balance is restored, history will absolve me for the greater good. A risk and sacrifice she was willing to take Beauty. in order to save humanity. Honor. Self-sacrifice. We were 14 when we lost almost half of our comrades to augmentation failures. Death? does not diminish these qualities in a soldier. We shall remember our dead. Honors. Attention! Kids I grew up with, never said goodbye to. We commit the bodies of our fallen to space. There they go. I still remember their names. The deaths affected each of us differently. Fire teams came and went, but core loyalties and friendships endure, even beyond death. Of course, it didn't sit well with John. Where are you taking my men? 
Let them go, squad leader. They can't fight anymore. They don't belong here. What happens to them? The Navy takes care of its own. Their minds are still sharp, and our war effort can always use soldiers for less physical duties. John never left anyone behind. Not if he could help it. Was there something else, son? Sir, I'm squad leader. Members of my unit died. What should I have done to keep that from happening? 117, John. What your class went through, that any of you survived at all is a testament to your strength. Walk with me. A leader must be ready Look how to send tall John is now. To their deaths. God, their duty he's only 14. I'm sorry, sir, but I fail to see how that applies to this situation. The lesson is sacrifice. It is acceptable to spend lives when necessary, squad leader. What is not acceptable is to waste said lives. Which was this, sir? Spent or wasted? Get some rest, squad leader. What did Mendez say? Not much. Let me guess. Something about duty and sucking it up. That sounds nothing like him. Like your owl. <laughs> it sounds exactly like him. Me and Kells are going to the shooting range later. You in? No. I'm going to hit the gym. Needs to take out um, some steam. John was still processing our losses. Emotionally and physically. For weeks after augmentation, every bone in our bodies ached. Of course they did. Naturally. Our eyes throbbed and bled. Thank we got God. headaches. Fell down. Clumsy in our new skins. Dr. Halsey told us our brains would have to relearn how to work with our new bodies. Learn how to use new strength and speed. But it wasn't easy. And it was frustrating. ODST. What are they doing there? They're gonna hit the gym too? The thing about John is that he really only knew three ways to react to people. Ha! If you were his he couldn't officer, even lift it. He obeyed you. If you were in the <laughs> squad, he would die for you. But if you were a threat, then God help you. Oh! <laughs> Why would you pick a fight with the kid after benching that much? Oh! Let's go, John! Fuck him up! Okay, that's enough, John. You don't want to kill them. Heart rate steady, pulse level. He's barely breaking a sweat. She's what just analyzing. She what we built him to do. He's winning. I'm gonna stop this now. How is his adrenaline level, I wonder? She, she's all about them numbers and them statistics. Wait, can you not see the severity of the situation? God damn it, Halsley. Attention! Oh, shit. At ease. Your workout is over for today. Sir, those men. Was this a test? You engaged and neutralized a threat, squad leader. They started it. I was defending myself. But still, they were fellow soldiers. People die. Sacrifice is a necessary consequence of war. But sir, they were wasted, not spent. Because of me. Your priorities are to follow orders, and to preserve your life and the lives of your team. Is that clear, squad leader? Yes, sir. We heard what happened. Everyone on the ship did. It was an accident. That didn't make it any easier for John.
Apologies, Doctor. But I have been attempting to decode a transmission from the Planet Harvest. And? It's fragmented and incomplete. And it stopped repeating. Show me what you have. Gods. Deja, give me a feed from Harvest. Scanning spectrum. Anything. A comm station, a news feed, a grain elevator, damn it. Not found. It may be interference, or a problem with the slip space beacon relays. Harvest is on a 12 hour signal delay. Get Mendez, but keep scanning Harvest. I'm accelerating the schedule. I want to test in a combat mission. Bam, that's needlessly aggressive. I disagree. Brass wants Spartans deployed. And so do I. Okay. There's a mission Oni has been saving for the right team. Colonel Robert Watts. Earned his rank in the UNSC, but in 2512 he went turncoat, and now leads the insurrectionist forces in the Iridinus system. Watts has spent 12 years leading raids against UNSC targets, killing civilians and military alike. We have intel that Watts is planning to attack medical satellites in the outer colonies. Recently, one of Watts' men cut a deal with Oni. We have known for some time that Watts' forces were launching from the Eridanus asteroid belt. But there are millions of rocks scattered over billions of kilometers. Our informant did not know the exact location. However, he did know that the freighter Laden is a supply vessel. Mendez. Laden is set to leave dock in six hours for routine engine recertification. And yet, she's been loaded with enough food and water to supply a small city. Spartans, you will be dropped at the Eridanus II space docks. You will be dressed the same as members of the Laden crew. Once in the base, you will infiltrate the installation and take Watts alive, if you can. They would have detected a UNSC ship. They wouldn't detect us. Be prepared for anything. Finally, squad leader, you are hereby promoted to Petty Officer 3rd Class. Damn. My dude is shooting up the ranks. First combat mission. Everything went off without a hitch. Before long, we were safe in the microgravity well. Ugh, I can never get shut eye before a mission. What are you doing? Scanning freight and shipping documents. Read it to me. That'll put me to sleep. Ten hours out, blue team. We'll rotate sleep cycles. Find anything, Kelly? Everything. Laden doesn't have a shipboard AI, and their security is a joke. Course setting. We've got a loose trajectory into the belt, but no final destination. Meaning insurgents don't even trust their own people. Keep digging, and wake me in four. I'll take over watch. Where did everyone go? John? Where were you when we needed you? What is this, a premonition? I'm up. What have you got? I picked Them up where suits Kelly are left off sick, and I found something odd in the ship's manifest. Hidden in the standard rations, there's a single crate of cigars, steaks, and chocolates. Luxury items. That crate is going to Watts. Precisely what I was thinking. Follow me. Stay quiet. Blend in. Kelly, get a bearing on that crate. On the monorail, headed towards the tallest building in town. Only the best for Colonel Watts. Nav marker at 443 meters and holding. Top floor. Helmets on. Move out. Oh, here we go!
fresh batch, Colonel. Oh! It was going well. We felt good. We got cocky. Well, oh no. I did. Oh, of course. Sam, look out! Oh no. John! John, can you hear me? That should have been me. Uh, secure the area. The biofoam will keep your guts where they belong till we get home. It's going to hurt. That was stupid, John. Queen doesn't sacrifice everything to collect a pawn. All the pieces go back in the same box when the game is done. <laughs> you hit? Nice. Nope. I'm lucky. Nice reply. Some idiot caught my bullet for me. <sighs> Do not make me laugh right now. Me alive. <laughs> My men will come for you. Howard was about to Empty freaking crate. kill himself. Sam, load the cargo. Cargo? Unhand me, boy. I don't know who or what you are, but I know two things, son. One, none of you are getting out alive. And two, I am absolutely not getting in that damned box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> In you go! <laughs> they do it? They successfully complete the mission? We believe yeah, we have dealt the insurrection a mortal blow. Maybe we did. But everything was about to change. Who's that? Uniform says keys. Maybe he's here to interrogate Watts? Nice work, 117. John, isn't it? Yes, sir. Have we met? A long time ago. You wouldn't remember. You were just a kid fighting in the dust. Now you're a warrior, and just in the nick of time. Sir? You'll know soon enough. Dismissed. Amphitheater Spartans, on the double. What do you think it is? Insurrection revenge strike? It's something else. Something big. At ease, Spartans. I am Vice Admiral Stanforth. This is Harvest. Population of three million. A peaceful and productive farming world. On February 3rd, in 1423 hours, the Harvest orbital platform made long-range radar contact with this object. After that, all contact with Harvest was lost. Command assembled a battle group. What they found is all that was left of Harvest. Three million lives lost. The colony burnt to ash. Power like humanity has never seen. Then, they encountered this. A starship uh -oh. of unknown design. It destroyed the Vostok and Arabia in under a minute, using highly advanced weapons and impenetrable shielding. The Heracles escaped into slip space with substantial damage and brought this intel back. They will not negotiate. They will not communicate. They cannot be reasoned or bartered with. We had just fought the insurrectionists. Stopped a plot to murder millions. Only to realize that this could be the very end of humankind. Period. Humanity will fight back. We've already seen that we cannot do it with the blunt instrument of a fleet. We need the surgical precision of a scalpel. The Spartan program is that scalpel. Damn right it is. We received a message before the attack in UEG base English. Play the message, Beowulf. Oh. Humans, your destruction is the will of the gods. 
And we are their instrument. Oh my god. Kelly 087 of Blue Team. Mission debrief. We were on the Commonwealth, en route to Kai Seti 4. When we weren't in cryo, we were all crammed into the bunk room. There was always more prep, more planning. Ah, oh, damn it! You're still dropping your shoulder. I know! Let's go again. Does Project Mjolnir mean anything to anyone? Gotta be some kind of weapon. Brass isn't very imaginative with code names. Spartan 117, report to the bridge. Yes, ma'am. Sam, get everyone ready. On the double. You heard the petty officer. Dog the distractions and into uniform, Spartans. As we scramble to get ready, John was dragged into a pissing contest between Dr. Halsey and the captain. Ma'am, Captain Wallace. There it is again. Doctor, that puts our ghost at 80 million clicks. Even if it were a ship, and I don't concur that it is, it would take an hour to get within weapons range. Besides, it's disappeared again. Captain, it is my recommendation that we go to battle stations. We have plenty of time. Unless there's something you're not telling us. This is not widely known, Captain, but the alien ships at Harvest disappeared, then reappeared much closer. An intrasystem jump. We believe so, Spartan. Not possible. I can tell you that slipstream space simply cannot be navigated that accurately. You mean we cannot navigate it with that kind of accuracy? We'll take the dropship. I will see these Spartans make it to Project Mjolnir. All hands to battle stations. This is not a drill. Oh. We 90%. Come about to course one. This is about five. to go down, lads. All hands. Brace for impact. Uh oh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. We were being hunted down like dogs. Our only chance was whatever was down in that testing facility. Oh no. God, I hope they have good shields. No! They call no, they don't! The Covenant. This is it. This is where the Covenant first appear. Well, they have good shields. Really good shields. Energy shields. That's... Amazing. Bring she wants that around. tech. And arm the Mac. She really wants that tech. She's like, oh my god, I must have it. <laughs> Unlike the missiles, the Mac Round 101 is an unguided projectile. So the firing solution has to be perfectly aligned to hit. Will it go through the shield though? Nope! I think the shields are down. Oh man, they've got homing missiles. Oh shit. They blew holes into that thing. Somebody call Isaac Clark. Ready he needs Mac to fix round. that shit. Max system destroyed, Captain. The Commonwealth carries nuclear missiles, correct? Detonation at this range would destroy us as well. Excuse me, sir. The alien tactics have been unnecessarily vicious. They didn't have to take that second mag round. In my opinion, sir, they would engage anything that challenged them. They're sending a message. Longsword Squadron Delta. Get those ships into the black, boys. And buy us some time. Roger that, sir. On our way. Arm the nuclear warhead. Proximity detonator at 100 meters. Fire! 
fire. Oh, this should work. Three, two. Fucking hell. If that didn't work, then they know. This is the first moment of hopelessness. Power us back up. Slowly. Sensors coming back on. All long sword interceptors vaporized. Covenant chip intact, sir. Oh shit. It there is it is. Off, though, sir. Most likely to make repairs. I have my orders to get you and yours to Kai City 4 at all costs. As we execute a flyby orbit, your dropship will take you and your crew planet side. If the Covenant return, we will lure them away. When humankind's strongest weapon fails against an enemy, you know there's nothing else you can do. Damascus Materials Testing Facility to Incoming Peloton. Identify. This is Dr. Catherine Halsey, Damascus Clearance 197371 Alpha. Doctor, you are cleared for landing. Pad 4. This is Project Mjolnir. Mjolnir wasn't just weapons tech. It was Halsey's endgame, her force multiplier. Oh, there it is! Half of the plan. The armor was the other. Oh my god, here we go! The armor shell is a multi-layer alloy of remarkable strength. An onboard computer connects with your neural interface to continually track tactical information. And the inner structure is composed of a new reactive metal liquid crystal that is amorphous, yet fractally scales and amplifies force. Ma'am, so you're saying this exoskeleton enhances both the wearer's strength and speed? Yes, 104, by a multiple of five. Sign Holy hell. And the drawbacks, ma'am? This system is so reactive that our previous tests with unaugmented volunteers ended in failure. Oh. The amplified movements broke their bones, tore their muscles. Their own agony-induced spasms killed them. Oh. But you are not normal humans. Okay. Your enhanced musculature and skeletons should be enough to allow you to harness the armor's power. Should be enough. Now, I'll need a volume. Should be. I'll do it. I'll be first. I thought you might. Uh, she knew. Of course, John volunteered. He was always the first to explore the unknown for the rest of us. Move very slowly, deliberately. The armor cannot be powered down. The response cannot be scaled back. It's... shifting. Each suit has a gel-filled layer to regulate temperature and fit. John, ready for your first step? Yes, ma'am. Oh my god, Master Chief's watch, first step! It felt like the entire fate of humanity lay in one step. Come on, man, you got this. This is actually it's super fucking legendary. Expected. Easy now. There it is! Well, the crowning of the chief! Feels right. Like I was made to wear it, man. <laughs> Fuck, John that's legendary. Was he was made to wear it. We all were. This is so freaking cool, man. Spartans, this is what we've trained our entire lives to do. If we lose here, we lose everything. Let's send our own message. Sir, yes, sir! Commonwealth to Dr. Halsey. I'm here, Captain. The Covenant ship is moving. They will be on us inside ten minutes. I'm sorry, Doctor. It looks as if you're on your own. Dr. Halsey, let us take a shot. We're the best possible option. Your only option. Blue Team is ready. And you know it. John was right. And Halsey either did know it, or at least knew better than to argue. 
Godspeed, John. This is it. I'm just saying, you could have volunteered Red Team instead. You want me to pull over? Let you out right here? As Chief Mendez would say, it's a long walk home. <laughs> Look, you know I trust you in everything, but how are we supposed to take on a Covenant ship in a Pelican? Drown them in our blood? I was thinking, the Commonwealth's Pelicans are carrying nukes. Nukes won't even scratch them. No, not from outside their ship. That's Damn right. right. We can't beat them with brute force, remember? Scalpels. Surgical precision. If we're small enough, they won't see us coming. I hope. Gear up. Ship's on autopilot. Course can be tracked via our HUD. You heard this plan? And we're still doing it. I think it's a great plan. I seriously love this plan. <laughs> Super optimistic. I'm on board. I love it. I love this plan. I love it too. Let's go, Spartan Dews! All right, here we go. John, if we miss, we won't. Oh, and here they come! Oh, wow! Project Mjolnir in full effect, baby! Let's fucking go! The turrets! The shields have to at least iris for them to fire. Time this right, and we're behind their shields. We time it wrong, we're smoking. Sam, Kelly, with me. Fred, Linda, take the other side. We'll rendezvous somewhere in the middle. On my mark. Mark, go, go, go! Oh no. I'm not going to make it. Yes, you are. Everyone makes it. <laughs> Damn right, they do. Chief is such a fucking badass. I love it. You know, this is the first time I'm witnessing Chief speak and actually have, you know, a character. I've got terrain. I always thought he was this soldier that never spoke. Don't know why. Could be anything. Agreed, but the largest reading is coming from the center, likely the ship's reactor. Sam, you take point. Kelly in the middle, guiding the way. I'll bring up the rear. doors were immense. The ceilings were three meters high, the air thick and oily. Different symbols, different languages. Oni had theorized the Covenant was more than just one race. This helped confirm it. Oh, it's them little dudes! I always feel bad for shooting them. They don't stand a chance. They aren't bulletproof. Good to know. Collect samples, tissue, armor, weapons. Oh, you have no idea, lads. I think we should have tried That's not the real threat. They understood us just fine. Come on, we don't know what else is on the way. Boy, he's got a plasma gun. Clear. Now you deal with the real threat. The elite. Oh. Oh, and he's got a thingy. Oh, shit. Oh, they're bulletproof for a, well, a period of time, anyway. 
No! Stopped when Sam took the shot in the chest. I'm okay. Just burns like nothing else. You'll be fine, but Biofoam won't seal this. That was stupid, Sam. You did the same thing for me. That was different. They can't afford to lose you, John. What a team. What a feckin' team. Look at this. This is the source of the radiation spike. I have no idea what it is. Doesn't matter as long as it explodes. I'll arm the warhead. You two. Contacts. Uh oh. Those damn shields. Only in the front. Whoa, nice. I'll seal the door. John, finish arming that warhead. Come on, let's go. I remember thinking that no matter how dark the future got, we could face it as a team. Warhead countdown set. Let's move. Or so I thought. Oh no. You guys should get moving. You guys? You're not coming? Kelly. No. We don't leave anyone behind. My suit is breached. I step into that vacuum and I'm dead anyway. No. No. We don't leave anyone behind. He's not staying to die, Kelly. He's staying to fight. Go. Our new friends aren't going to wait for us to argue. Oh, no, Sam. I know Spartans don't cry, but for once, I was glad for the helmet. Good boy, Sam. Sam was our first loss since augmentation. F in the chat, lads. F in the comment section. Spartans never die. We thought They're just MIA, goddammit. Augmentation it. armor made us untouchable, invulnerable, immortal. Blue team. We were wrong. We were children. They're this still was so the young. only thing John was ever afraid of. Losing one of us. And we knew we weren't finishing this fight. We were just getting started. You know, that was a heavy blow for John. He always believed that nobody gets left behind. Every soldier comes back. All the chess pieces go back in the box then. at the end. All I can think about was that day. Sam carved our mark into the world. Right here in the wilderness. Before it was all burned. For Sam. For, for Sam. Sam. Sam fell first, and yet he showed us that the Covenant could be killed. Sam proved we could win this war. Every battle won is built on the foundation of that sacrifice. If we survive this, it's because Sam showed us the way. Chief? Sam was my friend. He was my brother. He was... Our brother. Last time we were here, I asked Sam to trust me to take us home. To follow me. Will you trust me now? Will you follow me? Of course.
I have in the chat for Sam. <sighs> he didn't stay to die, he stayed to fight. And prove that they can win this war. God damn. I'm falling in love with this franchise, man. I'm falling in love with it. So. There it is. We have concluded. Halo. And the fall. Of Reach. I want to firstly say. That. It was so great. To get the story. Of Spartan 2. The Spartan 2 program. To see the birth of Master Chief. How he was taken at such a young age. At the age of six. To be put under this strict military program. To eventually undergo a procedure that would change the face of this war forever. This was incredible. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed this, and I think I'm going to remember this for a very, very long time. As I've said, from playing the games and enjoying the lore and watching these videos, I'm beginning to really fall in love with this franchise. And I know I've only played one of the games, and we've completed it. But getting this context, you know, this information and this story has made me even more excited than I already am to play the other Halo games and so pumped and ready could you imagine when we finish here on the channel every Halo game there is to play and by the time we get to that point fingers crossed that Halo Infinite would be coming out very soon after but my excitement levels for Halo Infinite are going to be through the roof because I expect to be on par with the knowledge of Halo like each and every one of you watching at home right now when it comes to that point. And you can goddamn bet your cards I will be playing Halo Infinite. And I will be freaking enjoying it. I know I will. Because when that moment comes, I'm going to know every little intricate thing about Halo. <laughs> and it's going to be insane. Can I cannot believe it, lads. Someone that looked down on Xbox. Someone that looked down on Halo simply because I was a PlayStation guy. That I've always said true to PlayStation as a console. To now embracing this Xbox franchise. This incredible Halo story. And really, really falling in love with it. I never thought it would happen. Obviously, it, it had to take to the point where I'm a grown-ass man. I'm willing to open up to new ideas and new things. But I got there. And it just proves... It just proves that even people that have been so biased on opinions, even people that stay true to what they love, can open up to other things and appreciate the other aspects of life. I don't know, that's, that is way too deep <laughs> for something that's too in, in, that involves gaming. <laughs> but honestly, that, that, that's just the message I'm trying to give across here. I really love Halo and I really love this story and I just I just can't wait for our stream tomorrow. So like I said, 2 p.m. GMT UK time, I'm going to be streaming Halo Combat Evolved in classic graphics on an Xbox One. Yes, I'm actually going to be playing an Xbox. It's going to be weird. It's going to be so freaking weird. But I'm excited. Very, very excited indeed. And I cannot wait. But anyway, that was my reaction to Halo The Fall of Reach. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave a playlist link up here so you can check out my Halo journey up until this point and enjoy it if you haven't already. And tune in tomorrow's stream. Link to my Twitch below. That's when I'll be going live and turn on them notifications so you know. But if you are subscribed here on YouTube, I will notify you guys as well with a redirect premiere video so you guys can hop in and join the fun as well. 
And also consider becoming a channel member here on YouTube as there are new emotes to unlock to show that you are a part of this community. Anyway, lads, ladies around the feckin' world, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next Halo video. See you later, dudes.